Hi everybody, this is Mayor Jason Salento with COVID-19 question and answers. This is the second time we're doing this and um, I will continue to do this throughout this pandemic. Um, but first, before we begin, I want to extend our thanks and gratitude to our frontline, our healthcare workers, our doctors, our nurses, uh, locally, our rescue squad, our fire department and police department, and our OEM who are serving to protect us each and every day. Also, thank you to our essential workers who are helping the world go round, and to our teachers. This week is Teachers Appreciation Week, and so let's extend a gratitude and thanks to them for their service. Um, they had to adapt pretty rapidly during this time uh, to remote learning, so we extend our thanks to them as well. Also, before we start the question and answers portion of the video, I just want to extend thanks to all the volunteers who have stepped up to help on the various initiatives that are going on through Dinellan during COVID-19. You are the backbone of this community and we are so grateful for your volunteerism. It's proven that Dinellan is truly the, a volunteer town. As a reminder, we've extended our Dinellan COVID-19 pop-up food drive. We are collecting unopened, unexpired, non-perishable food items on Thursday, May 7th, between 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Drop-off location is the Living Hope Outreach Center located at 201 Whittier Avenue. And if you are a resident in need, please contact Alex Miller, our Recreation Director, at 732-968-3033, extension 8, and he will schedule you for a pickup times that we are doing on Saturday, May 9th at the Living Hope Outreach Center. The Middlesex County Public Health Department is reporting only the cumulative total for all municipalities. And that's the data that I report back to you. The state of New Jersey is not reporting the recovery information due to it being difficult to collect and report that type of data, mainly because at this time, doctors and scientists have not been able to define what recovered means with COVID-19. However, the state is reporting discharge patient data, and you can find that at covid19.nj.gov, but they are not providing the broken down data of discharged patients per municipality. Based on your question, I am assuming you're asking where are locations that people have contracted COVID-19? Unfortunately, we are unable to answer that question due to the Middlesex County Public Health Department advising us that common spaces such as stores or parks are low risk areas and therefore are not recorded. Additional information such as residential homes, the borough of Denelton is not able to report this type of information due to HIPAA violations. However, due to how COVID-19 is contracted through being airborne or in-person contact or by touching surface areas that are often used, you should always assume that you are potentially being exposed. Therefore, always wear a mask and gloves when going outside of your home. And if you have someone who ill who is ill in your household, you should practice this within your homes as well. Also, constant washing of your hands with soap assists in lessening the chance of contracting the disease as well as spreading it. The Borough of Dinellan is not the lead in these investigations. This would be the Middlesex County Public Health Department. If you or anyone have questions or concerns, I strongly encourage you to reach out to the Middlesex County Public Health Department for these types of questions, as well as reporting any of these kinds of concerns, as well as concerns with their investigations. The contact information for the Middlesex County Office of Health Services is 732 seven four five three one zero zero the borough of Dinellon is following and enforcing the governor's executive orders for all circumstances in which you feel businesses and or the public are not obeying the governor's executive orders please call the police department at the non-emergency line at 732-968-3000 when the dialing options come up, press zero and it will take you to dispatch. At that time, you can report your concern and a police officer will be sent and inspect the situation 
and will act as they deem appropriate. If you feel any business in Dinellan or surrounding communities are violating the governor's executive orders, you may report them on the New Jersey COVID-19 Information Hub at covid19.nj.gov backslash violation. Branches and leaf bags, including grass clippings during this pandemic, will be picked up curbside until the end of May by the DPW. Governor Murphy's Executive Order 107, the stay-at-home order, is intended to help stop the spread of the disease. Governor Murphy stated, and I quote, We know the virus spreads through person-to-person -person contact, and the best way to prevent further exposure is to limit our public interactions to only the most essential purposes. This is a time for us all to come together in one mission to flatten the curve and slow and eventually halt the spread of the coronavirus, end quote. I may disagree with the governor on other issues, but with this one, I do agree with him. We have yet to see Dinellan's numbers go down and therefore no flattening of our curve. Surrounding communities are experiencing a similar upward curve in their numbers too. I understand these orders test what we believe government's role may be in our lives. But to ensure we flatten the curve, it will take a collective effort on all of our parts. The sooner this happens in terms of the, the curve flattening, the sooner we can begin to open things back up and get back to some kind of normal. But this means we must stay home, only travel when necessary, and practice social distancing when in public. On this question, I reached out to Councilwoman Jessica Dunn, who has a PhD in biomedical engineering with almost 17 years in the professional space in immunology and infectious diseases. So first, we are happy to hear that you are on the road to recovery. As with all medical questions, the best advice will come from your physician, including those regarding how to approach the question about your individual exposure. However, to address some of the public health concerns you have, we can turn to the public health agencies for the latest information. The question about whether or not you've been exposed is to understand the risk you may pose to infecting other individuals. The good news in your case is that you, you've had a recent negative test. Unfortunately, agencies like the World Health Organization pose that we don't have enough evidence to understand if and why some people may experience reactivation after recovery. In other words, we don't know if someone who has fought off COVID-19 once will be protected against being infected again. In general, all individuals should practice protective measures such as socially distancing and wearing protective gear like gloves and face masks. If an individual does develop symptoms or develops a positive COVID test, that individual should also quarantine and or seek treatment in accordance with their physician's advice. For more information, we encourage you to visit covid19.nj.gov or any of the federal agencies. They have all the necessary information and contacts you may need. I'm doing well, so thank you for asking that. I'm focused on the safety and well being of all of Denelm's residents and business owners. I also know this is the utmost importance to the borough council and the borough administration. Keeping my focus on these tasks has kept me motivated each and every day. In order to keep stress down, as you ask, I recommend you virtually keep in contact with family and friends daily, as well as going for walks or runs or jogs outside while maintaining social distancing and wearing a mask and gloves. Going outdoors is good for our health as well as our mental health. So please go outside, but be responsible about it. Yes, you've heard correctly. We do not know when we will be returning to normal uh, based on how this disease has impacted us, nor do we know when the governor is going to lift his orders on the state level. 
He has begun by opening parks and uh, golf courses, and of course, other things are to follow. But until then, we believe it is safer and wiser to not sanction any gatherings or public activities that will be in violation of the governor's executive orders as they exist right now. Cat and dog licensing are continuing, but the time to renew cat licenses may be extended. Please call our deputy registrar, Lauren Stats, at 732-968-3033 for specifics. The New Jersey State Office of Vital Statistics has just issued directives for conducting marriage license applications remotely. Donellan's own Office of Vital Statistics is developing a protocol for how we can safely begin to issue marriage licenses. Please contact Lauren Stats or Bill Robbins at 732-968-3033 for additional details. Yes, we did. At our May 4th virtual council meeting, I placed onto the agenda a resolution to extend the grace period for property taxes. The Borough Council voted unanimously to extend the grace period to the second quarter property taxes until June 1st. Therefore, no interest shall be assessed on tax payments received by the close of business day on June 1st. Any outstanding balances after June 1st will be subject to interest calculated to the original May 1st due date. That's per state law requirements. Please note that this resolution does not change the due date of the second quarter tax bill per the governor's executive order. It extends the grace period, which is normally 10 days until June 1st. The borough council and myself did this because we understand the, the financial hardships that may be occurring on residents due to COVID-19. So we wanted to provide some kind of relief through extending the grace period. Um, so we hope this does help some individuals in town. So this concludes our second question and answers regarding COVID-19. I wanna thank those who sent in questions for me to answer. I was happy to answer them. And I look forward to answering future questions because I will continue doing these question and answer video responses. As always, I want to remind you that I am just a phone call or email away. Please use me as a resource. If I don't know the answer directly, I will find out the answer for you, or I will connect you to the proper agency or authority that will provide you the correct answer. We will get through this, no matter how hard it seems right now. Until we speak again, my friends, please be safe and stay well.